an article by Business Insider reveals that Google is down ranking websites that are using AI generated content, which they consider of low quality. According to Google search liaison Danny Sullivan, he said Google's recent update to search was focused more on weeding out pages that were created solely to game the algorithm without much usefulness to humans. This is because they are focused on providing high quality results while reducing all form of unhelpful content in search. And the most worrisome part is these chat GPT AI content detectors are becoming extremely powerful. And that's why you need to make sure that your content is unique and original. So your content is not flagged by these AI content detectors. So Google doesn't penalize your site by downranking your content. In this video, I will show you the complete guide to tricking these detectors, give you tips on how to ensure that your content is original and doesn't get flagged by these detectors, as well as give you tips for creating content that will bypass these AI content detectors. Right now, I'm in ChatGPT and I've actually created a blog post using ChatGPT. So I'm going to walk you through all the steps you need to follow to be able to create content that are 100% human generated, even if you created it with ChatGPT. So these are the, you know, the blog posts I've created using this ChatGPT. You can see that it's very long, right? It's very long. I'm just going to show you, you know, how to actually bypass this AI content detection tools. Then the first prompt I gave it is this. I said, write me a 2000 blog post on how to make money online in 2023 and i now gave it rules right because remember that when you're using chat gpt is the prompt you put in that will determine your output so i gave it some rules i said rules write in second person what i mean by second person is second person point of view and also write as if it's written by a woman start with a persuasive introduction and end with a compelling conclusion also write a long paragraph to explain each point. So this is what I gave it as my prompt, right? And then it came up with this particular content. Can you see that the introduction is very, very interesting? Like it's compelling enough, right? It's persuasive enough. So that is what ChatGPT can actually do for you and make your work much more easier. If you are writing your blog post with ChatGPT, then you can see that it now gave me the tips, right? So you can see that it gave me a, a good conclusion too, right? But now what I did is that I had to give it more prompts. The next prompt I gave it was to rephrase the above text. I told it to evoke emotions and make it more inspiring. So you can see that when I gave it this particular prompt, rephrase the above text, evoke emotions and make it more inspiring. It now gave me this particular you know, output. Look at it here. The world is changing rapidly and with it, the opportunities to earn money are growing. The internet has become a hub of activity, offering countless ways to make a living. If you are looking to take control of your financial future and pursue your passion, the online world is waiting for you. The possibilities are endless and the rewards can be life-changing. In this post, we will show you how to harness the power of the internet to create a life of abundance and fulfillment. Can you now see? So I gave you this prompt, rephrase the above text, evoke emotion and make it more inspiring. And you can see the output it gave me very, very nice. Then I now went further again to give it more prompts. I said, expand number one. I told it to expand number because remember it gave me different, look at it, it gave me different, you know, ways on how to make money online. The first one is start a blog or website, but you can see that the paragraph is very short. Can you see? The paragraph is very, very short. The second point is become a freelancer. Everything is just short. But what I now did was each of them, I gave it more prompt. I, I told it to look at it, expand number one. So it now expanded the number one, which is what started a blog. Look at, look at the paragraph it gave me, very long one. Look at it here. And, and I told it to expand number two. Look at the paragraph it gave me. Can you now see that it's very, very long? Can you see? I told it to expand number three. Can you see that it's very long? So this is how you can actually come up with your blog post as fast as possible. And you begin to get more traffic to your site. So let me let me scroll down again so you can see what I'm talking about. Look at it, number four, expand number four. And you can see that it gave me longer paragraph, right? And then if you scroll down again, you can see that it's very long. Expand number five. See that it gave me longer paragraph. Now, the most important part of this video is actually... You know how to now bypass AI content dictators so that Google will not detect that your blog post was actually written by an AI, right? So that is what I'm going to now show you right now. So we're going to copy a part of this particular blog post and then I'll show you how to go around it. So let me just copy this, this particular blog post. Let me just copy from here to here. Just copy from here to this place. And then I'll go to different AI content dictators. 
Now, the first website I'm going to use is writer.com forward slash AI content detector, right? It will help you to detect if your content is, you know, was written by an AI or was written by a human being, right? So now, I'm going to now paste that content here and then analyze the text. Let's see what happens. Now, you can see that they said 20% human generated content. And you wouldn't want to use this exactly like this on your website so that Google will not downrank your content, right? They said that it's 20% human generated content. So meaning that it's 80% AI generated content, which is not good for you to use on your website. Let's check another tool. This particular website is paraphrasing tool.ai forward slash AI content detector. Let's put it here and see what you know the result is going to give us here. So let me paste it here too. Let's see. Let's see what will come up. Wow, this is terrible. This one said 100% AI. 100% AI. So it's terrible, right? So you wouldn't want to use this kind of content on your website. Very, very important. So how can you now bypass AI content detectors? I'm going to be using a tool called quillbolt.com, right? This is the tool I use and it works perfectly well. So what this actually helps you to do is that it will rewrite your content. Right, it will rewrite your content to make it to bypass AI content detectors. Right, it will rewrite it in such a way that AI content detectors will no longer be able to detect it as AI written content. It will just be as if it's a human being that wrote the content. So the name of the website is called quillboat.com. So I'm going to paste that content here right now, and then I'll click on paraphrase. Can you see what happened now? It has paraphrased the content for me. So what I'm going to do right now is this. I'm going to copy this particular text and take it back to those AI content detectors. Let's now see what the results will be, right? And then remember, when it comes to this particular pre board, it's very, very easy to use. There are different modes that are here. The free version will allow you to just use 125 words, right? But with the pro version, you can use unlimited words. Then there are different modes that I had. They have the standard mode, they have the fluency, they have the formal, the simple, the creative. You can expand, you know, the content, you can shorten it. So these are different modes you can see in this particular website. If you don't like what is here, you can decide to still click on rephrase to rephrase it again, right? And you can rephrase it like multiple times, up to four times, five times, until you get the particular content you want. And then when you look at this particular text that they have generated for you, you will see the words that are highlighted in red color. It means that these are the words that they changed for you, right? They changed it for you, maybe using a synonym. And then the sentences that are underlined with yellow line shows that there are structural changes. So they change the structure of the sentence. Now the words that are highlighted in blue color shows that there are longest words that are unchanged, that they didn't change the word, they use the exact words. You can even decide to get another synonym for the, a particular word. For example, just hover your mouse on it, right? And you see that it will change to purple color. Tap on it, and then you will see different synonyms that will come up. For example, with the rise of remote work, you will see that, look at different synonyms they brought out for me, with the growth of remote work, with the emergence of remote work, with the expansion, do you understand? You can just select any synonym you want. So what you will simply do is for you to just go through it and read it. I mean the paraphrase text, right? Read through it and make sure that it makes sense to you, right? If it makes sense to you, just simply copy it. But if you feel that it needs some little adjustment, just simply edit it a little bit, right? And then after editing it and you feel that it makes much sense to you, just simply copy the text, right? And then go back to those AI content detectors and then paste it there to see what will come up. So I'm going to paste this right now. So let me just paste it here and then I'll click on analyze text. So can you now see, it says 92% human generated content and that is very powerful right so let's now also paste this in other you know ai content detection tools to see what they will tell us so let me paste it here and then i'll click on dictate so you can see this particular tool says says it's 86 percent human why this one writer.com you know for us like ai content dictator said it's 92 percent human so basically, that's how you bypass all these AI content dictators by using this website, quibot.com to paraphrase your text, right? Reward your text so that when you put it in all these AI content dictators, they will no longer dictate it as AI generated content. Rather, 
they will see it as a human generated content if you found this video useful then you might consider clicking on the video on the screen right now to watch the next video on how to actually create blog posts using chat gpt and if you found this video helpful make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel then enable your notifications so you don't miss out on any video i post on this channel see you next time bye